All right, so as we have mentioned repeatedly, and we will definitely emphasize this and test this for you, centripetal force is not a physical force. An object moving in a circle does that because some physical force is acting on it. Today, we want to demonstrate a, a few more cases of that. Here we have a turntable, several masses sitting on this turntable. I'm going to get this thing moving. I'm going to get it moving in a circle. Notice the masses are all moving in a circle. That's happening because of friction. Frictional force is holding these masses in place. As we increase the speed, we will increase the centripetal force necessary to hold the masses in place. And notice they're starting to give way. So yeah, that first one on the outside broke free first. There was a greater need for centripetal force there. As we spin faster, you'll see the second one give way. Then the third one sitting in the center, very little centripetal force on it. The same frictional force, but it is not spinning away. You will do the analysis, understand why that is the case.